get into the bed and warm as fuck. It's like I want to jump out the window. Like this fucking celebrity, as you can see here, two celebrities this week in the last maybe four or five days. Not even that, maybe three days. Said they feel like committing suicide. And this the, 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 this crazy looking woman is right here. It's Tamar Braxton. I don't know why why she's famous. She only known she's only known of being the sister of um this Braxton. Oh, I forget her name. Oh. I forget her name. Never Tony Braxton. Never Tony Braxton. Yeah. Well, you should. She's one of the best singers of all times. Tony Braxton, come on. You no, ever man. heard of her? No. That's her sister right there. She has a show coming out on VH1 or some nonsense. And now she's crying, so she, she's suicidal. Oh, help me. Yes. I am depressed. Yeah, I am manic depression. The only way out is to kill my fucking self. But you are still here. Hmm? Most of the come, time. You're sure coming out. Like, in the last three years, I've lost, like, two friends to suicide. And, exactly. and I know some other people which weren't really my friends but i knew them mm -hmm. which commit also suicide. commit suicide yeah and i've heard a lot of people say that they were going to do it and none of them did it so that's most of the time more of a cry for help because all of the friends and people i knew that actually committed suicide said nothing like this nothing they burned publicity. burned burned their bridges and just did it publicity stunt Although I know there's a thing called manic depression, they are depressed and suicidal. I, 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 I urge everybody to get help. Seek help when they, they feel like doing it, but don't do it, you see me? Yeah. But definitely. when it comes to celebrities who do anything for publicity, this woman here have a show coming out this week. Now she's crying about depression. Now, now everybody wants to talk to her. Newspapers, television, radio. Internet she was talking about her. Here we are talking about her. And we, we just get to find out she have a show coming out. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Yeah, I don't believe People should either. go to jail for that. Crying wolf. You see me? And now got somebody, please go and check up on Nick Cannon. <laughs> you saw the <laughs> you saw Nick Cannon. I him. saw that interview, man. It was... It looked... Yeah, like like a complete reverse situation, like an interview in the forties or fifties when a white guy was talking, talking about, about white supremacy, like. And then within twenty four hours, he, he submits an apology. He apologized him to me, and I he, I was offended. He apologized to everybody, <laughs> as I said, even me. Isn't I it? couldn't take it seriously, man. Like, and then. He, 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 he posted a cryptic text, yeah, talking about, oh, I'm sorry and good night. And he said, I'm sorry and goodbye from heaven. <laughs> from heaven. No. He, 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 no, everybody starts scramble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, everybody, not me. Most people who, who give two fucks because I don't care. Didn't he? He was used to date Mariah Carey, right? Yeah, no, not used to date. He was married with two kids. You see me? And the following morning, after he did that, he, he posted that Mariah Carey posted her dog wearing an eyeglass, wearing a sunglass, and said, It's been a fucking good summer. That's a <laughs> that's bird text. She don't give two fucks. You, you, you texting about you goodbye from heaven. So you, you want people to think now he's going to kill himself. And you have people trying to break down his house. Where are you? Where are you checking on him? Yeah. And you have people checking the internet, just smoking and eating popcorn, just waiting for the bullshit. Like me. Just waiting for the bullshit. Because I know Nick, you're not going to do no shit like that. You understand? You love this. I don't want to say you love the spotlight, but yeah, we, we, we know you're tougher than that. He, You're he not used to be a Nickelodeon. To do nothing to yourself. He used to be a Nickelodeon he, kid, he, man. He, he used to be. He, he's still everywhere. He's still popping. God bless him. But we know you. We just know you're not doing shit to yourself, isn't it? And Mary Carey know that's why she posts up her dog wearing a sunglasses to just troll you a little cunt. These celebrities need to go to jail every time they come up with a stunt like this talking about suicide, 
They should just go yeah, to yeah, jail. Yeah, because, because it diffuses away. It, when yeah. the real guys calling for help, who really will come into suicide and asking for help, people look at them like, oh, we hear this too much time. I know this woman, she's still here. If you post up about suicide, and I can find you seven days after, you should go to jail. <laughs> what, what was this two a week ago? Oh, you're supposed to be dead now. Yeah, but it, it is it is really it's it's really ego, egotistical and irresponsible, man. That it's some fucked up shit to do that. Like, yeah, yeah, we are just going about suicide. So I, I I know more people who like do that kind of stuff, you know, like yeah, cry for wolf. But ever since I lost two of my best friends to that shit, and one of them is also used to be best friend with Tim here. So I, I can't really. I think it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, yeah. It's you, just you fucking make disgusting. Fun of it or make light of it. Yeah, exactly. Because every day a lot of people. I think um twenty, over twenty. It's veterans. the highest. It's the highest uh, uh, reason Deadly. for people uh, for young men to die, between the age of sixteen and. and 35 or 40 or something like the yeah. I believe number one thing yeah. is suicide, over 20 so. people commit over 20 returning veterans 20 soldiers every day kill yeah. themselves in America that's a fucking lot and then you have these celebrity making fun of it I tell you he polish clothes on and them and just lock them up you don't make fun of it just you understand but Nick <laughs> it's more funny with Nick because Everybody looking at Nick's side here. Nick, you, you better sit down before I send Mara for you. Mariah for you, you see me? Bro, you coming? You're not coming to nothing. The only thing you will come into is to, to play the rice or something. You're fuck talking about suicide. And that's bullshit. And, well, listen. I appeal to all those who need help. Oh, shit. Need help to go and get help. You see me? Just get help. If you have to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. But suicide is no joking matter. No, don't make fun of it, not. and don't use it as a promotional stunt. Like this whole fucking woman doing here, talking about uh, read it, read the caption here. It says what? Yeah, suicide note. I'm a slave. The only way out is death. Mm. And apparently, and she's still alive. So that means there was another way out. Yeah, yeah. Plus, there are there's still real life slavery going on. You know, so. She talking it's, it's funny how you can victimize yourself to the point that you call yourself a fucking slave whilst there are still fucking kids in certain countries oh dear being her. forced oh. to, to call oh dear, mines. Oh dear her. Hmm? Just to sell some viewership on television. Yeah, and people people buy it, you know. Of course people buy it. People will defend it, her if somebody says something like that. It's bullshit. So. But gone are the days when the majority of people will believe that. No, a lot of people don't. No, a lot of people just look at her like, shut up. You see me? And as I said before, there are people still talking about her now. Because of this suicide nonsense, NBC, ABC, every series in America want to talk to her, want to interview her. Breakfast Club. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Everybody, internet and television and radio, trying to contact her to say, yo, is this real? But after all that, she gets millions of views. Off the back of something as cruel as suicide. That's some bullshit. They yeah. should go to jail. Her and Nick <laughs> should fucking go to jail. Especially Nick. 